so. So wait, honey, let's get you back to bed. Everything cleaned up in time for your very special occasion. Mm -hmm. You and Mr. Bandio Padai seem like the perfect couple, and you deserve a truly perfect affair. Should we continue walking? <coughs> Are you okay down there? Oh yeah, it's 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 no big deal. May I? It's no small deal. <coughs> Okay, neither is that. Have you seen a doctor? Oh, the cough. Yeah, it comes and goes, and, and this just happened last night. Well, let's pause the party planning for a moment, shall we? So, how did this happen, Zoe? It's gonna sound very strange. The house is doing this to her. One more time? Every night I see things, really indescribable things. And last night I followed one of them right through that window. And why would the house be making this happen? Well, Amy thinks it's because I want to expand, turn this place into a full-service bed and breakfast. And that house wants you to stay focused on events and catering. This house has been in our family for five generations, ever since our great-great-grandparents came here from Scotland and built it with their bare hands. Amy, any radical change to that now would be an insult to them. And what they left behind My sister's a little off-center sometimes. Oh, I know how you feel. My brother couldn't find the center with a GPS device. <laughs> <coughs> how long has this been going on? A couple weeks. You've been hallucinating every night for two weeks and you haven't seen a doctor? Mm. This is outside our scope of practice, Hank. We're not a concierge ghostbuster service, okay? We're going in to look for mold. I'll take the attic, you take the basement. I'm not going to the basement. Fine, you take the attic. Try not to get slimed. <sighs> yeah. <coughs> oh, yeah, I should take the basement. <laughs> moldy, 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 mold. Where are you? God, why would I choose the attic? Hello? Satan? <laughs> I bet the basement is finished with like a pool table. You sent me up here to look for me. Yo, I think I found the mold. And there's a lot of it. Um, Henry, does the mold make you start hallucinating immediately? Okay, Hank, get up here right now. Because I don't think it's mold, I think it's ghost. And now the ghost! I'm morphing into bats! Hey! Okay! Hey! Hey! Get out here! Hey, is that what I think it is? Dead bat. Oh my god, you could have just said yes, dude. Zoe, bats can carry rabies, which can cause hallucinations. What? Relax. Have you spent time in that attic? I've been up there once or twice to take measurements for the B and B. See, Zoe? The bats, the house. Everyone thinks the B&B is a bad idea. Sadly, the house and the bats don't get a vote. Well, I'll go tell them that. My only recent bites have been mosquito bites, especially since Amy started making us sleep outside. <laughs> well, believe it or not, bat bites and mosquito bites look a lot alike. They're actually really tough to differentiate. Oh my god, I know I got bit. I got bit somewhere. Any other theories? A certain fungus can grow on bat guano and cause a respiratory infection called histoplasmosis. The symptoms don't typically include hallucinations, but coughing is a hallmark sign, along with chills, fever, and headaches. I've had this cough for a couple weeks now. Yeah, you said it comes and goes? Comes by day, goes by night. Do you take anything for it? No, I had a bad reaction to antibiotics when I was younger, so medication kind of freaks me out. Well, while the lab tests the bat, I'd like to do a skin test to check for the histoplasmosis, allergies, and anything else that might tell us what's going on here. Okay. Uh, I tried, I tried to get up there, but the, the attic door locked behind her. 
All right, I'm gonna find a way to get on that roof. Evan, you try to find a ladder. Divya, keep Amy back. Zoe, please, just stay where you are. Don't worry, Hank will take care of this. Zoe, 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 don't move. I... <laughs> Nothing you're seeing is real. And you could hurt yourself really badly if you take another step. Do you understand me? <gasps> Zoe, Zoe. Divya, I got it. Here, let's get her down over here. Okay. Come here, right here. Here you go. You got her? Yep. Gentle. Okay. Zoe, what were you doing? Amy, your ears are really big. Whoa, is she okay? As far as the fall, yeah. Yeah, she'll be fine. You want to do the spinal tap tonight? And that's not all I want to do. There may be only one way to get to the bottom of this immediately. Am I? Exorcism? Her hallucinations only manifest at night, so we're gonna work a graveyard shift. A sleepover? I'm a huge fan of that procedure. <coughs> Amy? Is everything okay? No, it's not. I need to get her something to drink, but we've run out of supplies out here. I'd have to go inside. If Evan needed me to go in that house, I wouldn't care if it was infested with mountain lions. I'd go in, but, you know, that's just me. No, it's not just you. If Zoe asks for me, tell her I'll be right out. Okay. Wait, wait, wait you're gonna go in the house. I th what about the cleansing? I guess I'll just have to start a new one after I fix this round of iced teas. <coughs> Zoe, when do you usually have your daily cocktail? Every night before bed. That's what. Help stop the coughing, silly. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Guys, keep an eye on her for me, please. Yeah. yeah. Amy? What the hell have you been giving your sister? It's just cough syrup. She's been up all night, so I'm giving her a second dose. Does she know you've been putting that in a drink this whole time? If she did, she wouldn't drink it because she refuses to take medication. I just couldn't stand listening to her suffer every night. This brand of cough syrup has an extremely high percentage of dextromethorphan. Why does that matter? High volume, high concentration doses of DXM are a bad idea. I, I And for don't... some people with a genetic inability to metabolize it, it's a toxic idea. You give her this and within 15 minutes she stops coughing, but two hours later when it's action peaks, she starts jumping through windows. So inanimate objects would grow, shrink, and bend. Distance and depth perception would be skewed as well. For instance, if you were standing on the roof looking down, jumping into the moat might look like nothing more than stepping into a puddle. What's wrong with me, Hank? It's a disorienting neurological condition called Alice in Wonderland syndrome. But once you stop taking the cough syrup and the DXM in it, you will be back in the real world with the rest of us. What about her cough? We administer an antifungal called itraconazole. It will treat the histoplasmosis and clear up the cough as well. Safely. I am so sorry, Zoe. No, it's, it's okay. At least we verified that medicine and I still don't get along. Don't blame the medicine. Blame me. I'm the one who made you spend two weeks in Wonderland. You broke a cleanse for me. You know how seriously you take those? Some things I take more seriously. <laughs> 